Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm gonna simplify this fluffy text because last time I did it, it took like 45 minutes. So let's do this. So first thing, select your logo, select your text or whatever you want to. I'm gonna put some gray color and I will do it differently this time. So I'm gonna recreate it for, with pen tool, okay? So I'm gonna uh, make a gray, make this gray, lock the layer and create here a new layer. And uh, you know, when you create the fluff, it won't be that visible that you created, you know, the font from scratch with pen tool basically. So it will look good anyways. And I'm gonna choose the pen tool and I'm just gonna recreate the letters, you know, press it here, press and hold shift. And you know, just eyeball it, you know, don't make it too complicated. Or I just can go, you know, from here, do it like this and you know, do it with the rest of the letters too. So we're gonna speed this up a little. And if you have a letter A, for example, which this place is, you know, more sharp, it's going like this or letter V, uh, I suggest you to go somewhere around here and press and hold shift and do it like this. And after that, we're gonna curve it out. Another tip, don't go all the way out. For example, the letter T, don't start from here and at, end up here because, you know, when we're talking about a fluffy text, it's gonna add something around like this, you know, when we're gonna add the effect. So it's gonna come out all the way like that. And you should go something like this. You know, we're gonna test it out eventually, you know, recustomize it. But the idea is to don't, you know, to leave some empty space um, in there. All right, so as you can see, we made this and I'm just gonna curve down these parts, select these specific uh, anchor points. So go to the direct selection tool, which is located right here. And you can select, in my case, I'm gonna select, you know, these. And if you have more in different letters, you can do it like this, select this, press and hold shift and select the other one. So it's gonna select like multiple uh, anchor points at the same time. And right now, as you can see, it, when I selected these, it's gonna create these little circles. You just need to drag it. And then, as you can see, it, it made it curvy this one and it didn't this one. So I'm gonna select these separately and curve these down. So basically it's really good to do it separately. Okay, uh, let's create, uh, you know, the fluffs. I'm gonna uncheck the previous layer so we don't need this anymore. So make sure that you're not on a stroke anymore. This is the stroke, this is the fill. Click on the stroke, click on none, click on the field, select the color. I'm gonna go with some blue, but you can select from swatches also. Create a circle, press and hold shift plus alt. Let's create another one, press and hold alt, drag and press shift. So we got two circles. I'm gonna make this, this color come out. So the idea is to select both, go to the objects, blend and make. So we got the smooth transition right now. I'm thinking to change the colors, so I'm gonna go to the direct selection tool and click on this color and I'm gonna go with, there you go. And we're gonna need to make multiple ones. So as you can see, if I drag this here, we need to scale this down, okay? So we need to measure that how thick to be the letters. So this is gonna be like this thick and I'm gonna scale this down also on that kind of thickness, see that? And we're gonna need to make some copies so we got one line this is a full line we got we need one copy of this for this and this is the second one we're gonna need another copy so let's create some copies press and hold alt drag it down and press ctrl d this way you create lots of copies and now the magic trick select one of these and press and hold shift and select the letter P or in your case some other letters and go to the object go to blend and replace spine and right now we achieved this uh, blend trick with the spine I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of the letters and there you go I'm thinking that it should have been a little bit more thicker, but uh, if we're gonna ap apply that fluffiness, it's gonna be even more thicker. So it's pretty good like this. And you can change also these. You can click on it, right click, arrange and send to back. So this way it's gonna be a little bit better. 
And if you want to change, you know, the number of the circle copies, for example, here we need even more. I forgot to tell you that. Just double click here on the blend tool and select specified steps. Right now it's, a, it's on 127 and just increase the numbers, you know, for me 300, it's pretty good. And now select them all and go to the effects, distort and transform. And there you have this option, roughen, roughen, I don't know what's the name. And as you can see, we can increase the size. It's already becoming like more rough. If you increase the size, it's gonna make it bigger. So it was, you know, the text was like a little bit more skinnier before. Now it's even more thicker. And we have the details in here. If you increase it, it's gonna become really fluffy. So click OK. And this is how you make a really fluffy text in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the, the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.